A parasite is an organism that lives on or in a host organism and gets its food from the expanse of its host. There are three main classes of parasites that can cause diseases in humans. Protozoa, Helminthes and Ectoparasites. The Eye Inflating Flatworm After a snail accidentally eats this flatworm's eggs, parasites develop in the gastropod's body, filling its eye stalks with sacs of larvae. The snail's stalks then look like the caterpillars, attracting the birds that the parasite needs for the next stage of its life cycle. An infected snail is also more likely to head out into the open, and even if it manages to survive one assassination attempt, the parasite filled with stalks will grow back, dooming the snail to a life of repeated avian attacks. The Zombie Wasp this resourceful wasp preys on cockroaches, turning them into zombies to feed its young. The female wasp aims a sting directly into the roach's brain, disabling its escape reflex. She then leads the zombie roach back to her underground nest, lays an egg on its belly, and seals it in. A larvae hatches from the egg and burrows into the roach, where it devours the insect from the inside to form a cocoon, from which it will later emerge as a new adult. The tongue eating sea louse. The only known parasite that not only feeds on one of its host body parts but also entirely replaces the very thing it's eaten. This gruesome sea louse makes its home inside a fish's mouth. There it feeds on blood from the tongue until the organ withers away. The parasite then attaches itself to the fish's remaining stem and feeds on blood and mucus in the mouth. It may come as some consolation to fish that it can use the louse exactly as the old tongue. The eye eating worm. The larvae of this nematode worm infect humans through fly bites. The adult can travel through the body's tissue for years. Most common in West and Central Africa, symptoms include itching, swelling, and even brain damage in very unlucky victims. The worm only becomes obvious when it reaches the eye, where it can be easily seen and more horribly felt by the victims as it screams across the soft tissues beneath the cornea. This is also when the worm is fairly simple to remove under local anesthetic. The Dragon Worm The Guine Worm or Draconculus meaning little dragon in Latin is caught by drinking dirty water, containing tiny water fleas infected by larvae. Once inside someone, the spaghetti-like female worm grows up to a meter long and emerges through the skin, usually on the legs or feet, causing the burning pain that inspired the parasite's name. The pain can last for weeks and there's no vaccine. The only way to get the worm out is to gradually wrap it around a stick. The Head Spreading Fungus Imagine something infiltrating your body, controlling your behavior, and when it's done with you, bursting out of your head. That's exactly what the head spreading fungi do. Infected ants become disoriented and are often expelled from their colonies. The outcasts climb to the top of the nearest plant, clutch to the stem, and die. When the fungi matures, its fruiting body blooms out of the ant's head, spreading its spores in the wind to infect other hosts. The Sex Change Bacteria The sex change bacteria do not like males. The bacteria are passed on to their host's offspring in the egg cells, meaning that males serve no purpose to them. So to improve their chances, they can kill infected males or force them to change sex and can even make males completely redundant by enabling virgin births in females. But don't worry, although these exchange bacteria have been found in humans, they can only manipulate male invertebrates, such as insects and worms, so far. The Vampire Fish The vampire fish lives in Amazon and feeds on the other fish, and feeds on other fish by swimming into their gills and feasting on their blood. According to the very locals, it also preys on humans entering any orifice it can find, such as anus, and loading itself inside, using backward-facing spines, bloated on its blood meal, it usually dies in there, and only surgery can get it out. That's especially difficult when the canary reportedly swims up the stream of urine and into a man's penis. The Mind Control Bug Toxoplasma is a brainwashing parasite. The microorganism infects rodent, acting directly on their brains to eliminate their fear of cats. The helpless victims are then easily caught and eaten. After the bug reproduces, it passes out of the cat, ready to be inadvertently ingested by next rodent host. 
This is the regular life cycle. But Toxoplasma can also find its way into humans from eating raw or uncooked meat or from close contact with cats. It rarely affects felons but has been linked to some strange behaviors in humans. There's evidence that the parasite can slow our reaction times, with infected drivers two to three times more likely to be involved in a car accident. The Womb Hijacking Barnacles When a female barnacle finds a female crab, it slits inside at a joint and spreads feeding tubes throughout the host's body. Its reproductive system emerges where the female crab's brood pouch should be. If the host crab is male, the parasite simply manipulates his hormones to make him more feminine. Male parasites then fertilize her, turning the crab into a parasite factory. The crab protects the parasite's egg as a mother or her own offspring. 